and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some Jeskai Walkers. Sorry, we have another donation deck to play some more Jeskai Walkers. We didn't do so well the last time that we played this kind of deck, but we have like some differences here in this list that I really like. Um, you know, last time we struggled, of course, with the green decks, but you know, we really struggled with Questing Beasts. We didn't have removal for bigger creatures, honestly. The card that I'm pretty excited to play in here is Justice Strike. I think this is just an awesome removal spell. You know, two mana, kill Questing Beast, kill Rotting Regisaur, um, you know, any large creature like that, as long as its power is greater than or equal to its toughness, you got an instant speed removal spell for it. So I'm pretty excited to play that. Um, but besides that, Jeskai could be a place to go towards. Um, when in the new metagame, whenever we have Oko and Nissa, you know, like that shell, the Gilded Goose, Oko, Nissa, Hydroid Crisis, that shell is going to be a defining part of standard. And, you know, like basically the defining pillar of standard. And Jeskai could be a way to fight it. The main reason why is you got Deafening Clarion, which is a really good quality sweeper, especially against all of the 3-3s three that the, the deck makes, like Oko, like Oko making 3-3s three and Nissa making 3-3s. Three so dealing 3 damage is just a perfect amount of damage to be dealing uh, there. And then, you know, you got a, 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 a hard sweeper in Time Wipe, a really good quality hard sweeper in Time Wipe. And you just have a lot of Planeswalkers where you don't have to play creatures that Oko is going to turn into 3-3s. Three you know, you can attack with Planeswalkers. You can get these Planeswalkers out and then, boom, play your Sarkin um, and tick up and have your, your Sarkins pressure Planeswalkers, your opponent's Planeswalkers. So I could see I could see this doing well. But yeah, so we got another uh, donation to, to try this out again. After this, I know it's getting, it's kind of... Uh, jumbled up a little bit here, but when we go to the next stream, you'll be able to see. We we got uh, it's Tuesday, so Tuesday Brews Day is back, where we're brewing around different uh, rares and mythics. So after our our deck here for the other three decks for today, we have a Sultai Cauldron deck where we're gonna build around Cauldron of Eternity and Sultai, and then Rakdo Spirit. That's Pestilent Spirit, Theater of Horrors combining up for Rakdos. So I'm really excited to play that deck. And then Demir Etrada. We got Etrada the Silencer in a Demir mid-range deck. So those will all be pretty sweet. So, um, uh, so but you know before that we got a donation deck here. Um, everything else pretty about pretty much you know you know pretty similar. I'm I'm kind of excited to play Ugin in here. Uh, let's see, we got sideboard. We can bring in some creatures if we need to with like Legion War Boss. If, we, if we're if we not playing Deafening Clarion, then War Boss will come in in those matchups that we don't want Clarion. And just a bunch of other uh, spells depending on what we need. Alright, so like with, with Donation Decks, what we like to do, we're going to play a league here. We're going to see if we can get to five wins before two losses. So here we go. <laughs> no, Jeskai Walkers is not a Bruise Day deck. Kendis. It's a donation deck here. So we have So we got we got one and then the other three are Tuesday Bruise Day decks. Ugh, need some water. Fortunato. It's a cool name. Uh, username Luffy Khan donated for this one. <laughs> oh, y'all are so nice. Hey, Steve. Oh, it's my turn. Whoops. Sorry. Looking at Twitch chat. My bad. I couldn't anticipate that happening. Swamp. Hmm. I'm going to keep up the backup 
I'm going to keep the backup Royal Scions because the card is just really strong. And if they end up killing one Royal Scions, we have a backup. It's better than a random card. If they would have played like Knight of the Ebon Legion, I would have shocked that. But just a 1-1, one, one, I don't really care about Death Touch or Life Link too much. So that just being a 1-1, one, one, I'm not going to shock that. And yes, I could have I could have shocked in to anticipate last turn. But you know, we, we already had a roll we already had a roll silence to play at turn three. It wasn't like we needed to find any particular card. I will learn what nobody yet knows. And so I kept the backup. All right, Steve. All right, I will do. So then that's number three today. Definitely discarding shock. I'm not sure which of the other three I want to discard. We would have anticipate. I think that we can, you know, like the we're gonna be digging here with the Royal Scions anyway. Hell. To know is to triumph. I'm brilliant, so my students are loyal and brilliant. No, I don't think Oko should be restricted. I think it should either either ban or, or not because like, well, they just don't restrict standard cards. It's just a, it's just a practice that doesn't happen basically at all. But if like imagine Oko being restricted and you can only play like one or or two, and your opponent goes turn one goose, turn two Oko, and you know kills you with the turn two Oko. Imagine how much more upset you'd be than whenever they get to play four. Okos, where you're just gonna be like, uh, they're so lucky to have their one or, or like their two, like one of their two, or or their only Oko on turn two. It'd just be even more infuriating. I think my opponent's trying to target my two two to kill it, but they can't because of Casmina. Casmina cost makes it cost two extra. Let me synthesize the facts. Join my cause. I'm kind of digging for um, Deafening Clarion, honestly. With my sister by my side, I do mm, a quest of mystery. No, my Sarkin. Well, we got two Scions at seven. Hmm. So if I play Narset, I'm not killing the Aerialist. I can, uh, besides that, I can like double dig, see if we hit Time Wipe to Fairy, something like that. You know, if we hit Narset, I can only play a two mana spell. And there's, you know, Justice Strikes like my only two mana removal. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. I will learn what nobody yet knows. 
those who cannot just I have just the trick for this. All right, so we know we're not ultimating with one Royal Scions here. Um, the interaction between Deputy Detention and Time Wipe. Does the creature that's returned die? Yes. Yes, because you would, you would bounce your Deputy of Detention, which then gives the opponent back their creature, and then the Time Wipe resolves, and it destroys that creature. You have the heart of a coward. Keep an open mind. Let me synthesize the facts. My plan is crystallizing. Mm. We've really churned through a whole lot of the deck. I want six lands because of Ugin and Chandra. We are going to be able to ultimate the legendary Royal Scions, which means we get to play another Royal Scions. If I exile something with Deputy and then use Oko's plus one to turn him into an Elk and lose all abilities, the exile card stay exiled even after the Deputy leaves play. The answer there is no. Whenever you exile something, it's part of that ability. We like to finish each other's attack already. Uh, I'm just gonna kill this thing. It's part of the, like whatever, like it's part of that ability of you exile it and it stays exiled until, you know, blah 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 blah. Strategy here. Um. So it doesn't matter if. Sorry, I'm late. The deputy loses text later on. This might be a bad idea. Let us fight. We want to do lifelink. They are coming. Gain 16. I guess I didn't auto tap this very well. My answers lie in the cold truth. I can't. I was planning on replaying Narset, but I didn't. I didn't really pay attention to the auto tap. I can't replay Narset right now. I was planning on using Teferi to bounce Narset and then replay Narset. My plan is crystallizing. Let's Should have played this. my mountain first. These are these are creatures. Teferi, Teferi can bounce creatures. These are these are creatures. Hey, Will. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the Esper that Esper mill list ha would have to be changed quite a bit. It's it's probably not nearly as good with Field of the Dead Band, honestly. Like that was like the the best matchup for the Esper mill. Um. So yeah, I'm sure it's. I'm definitely sure it's worse. Here we go. I summon you. I enjoy the proper application of no. I meant to do the I meant to do the plus two plus zero finally. I just guess I just clicked that one by instinct.
So I want Decree, Prison Realm. Oh, really, Will? Okay, well then... Well then, keep trying out then. I... I mean, I could, I could, yeah, I could definitely be wrong. Like, if they've been playing it at FNMs and been doing really well with it, then I'm wrong. Yeah, we'll see if they have Elder Spell. That would be a bummer. For sure. Hmm. We don't need all these prison realms. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, certainly the mainboard ego. Yeah, you don't you don't need mainboard ego at all. About that. And yep, this is standard. We have not countered an Oko yet. This is just our first match of the day, and it's against Mono Black. Uh, nope. I don't think I don't think we have any counter magic for for uh, Elder Spell in here. No, the only counter spell is Disdainful Stroke. It's just <clears throat> try to just, I guess our plan is just to try to play around it by not extending too much into it, I suppose. Piper of the Swarm. Man, I, I feel so bad for my opponent. Look at that cool card. That card's awesome. I haven't played that card yet. I feel so bad on Tuesday Bruise Day just to be Clara you know, getting three for one Clarion wrecking Piper of the Swarm. Cool. Alright, they got a backup. I train as meditate and prepare. With Field gone soon, I think Esper Control can make a comeback. Problem is we don't have infinite card advantage engine. That's Fairy 5, and as Kanto were, is there any alternative, or is Ugin the only choice? Ugin's definitely not the only choice. Jace. I discard two. Jace is kind of similar, like, you know, like, the, just, just the draw a card every turn, if that's something that you're into. If you want to spend one more mana... Hone your prowess. There's still Dovin in the format at six mana. And Dovin... Dovin's draw a card, gain two life, instead of... Draw a card. Instead of being draw a card on tap two lands. So if you want if you want six mana Dovin. That's a thing. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got it. Own your control. Our bond was forged in Basically, just mill over a card. Let us plan for the trials ahead. I guess I could have done the plus two if I don't want to just mill over a card there. <clears throat> yeah, look at that rat. It's so menacing.
My poor opponent trying to make Piper of the Swarm work. I was just playing my mean Planeswalkers. I know. Feel bad. Uh, but then, yeah, besides that, like, probably, you probably just want something like, yeah, like, there's, like, the, you know, Blue Finale or Drawn from Dreams. Like, Drawn from Dreams is kind of infinite card draw. You know, you just keep on chaining them together and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I, I do think that there is a lot of good stuff in Esper Control. That's an archetype. I was talking about this. Like, we were talking about it earlier. The, uh, you know, the main pillar of standard is definitely the Goose, Oko, Nissa, Krasis shell. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be looking for stuff that's good against that shell. And so I am planning on, because uh, um, I've had a, a lot of people reach out about, um, you know, what to do and stuff like that. Um, which... Which I put a few thoughts about that over on the Patreon page. I'll plug that. I'll plug that real quick. But um, one of the first days that the bannings are, you know, the bannings uh, happen on Arena here, like the twenty fourth. We'll we'll have a day, you know, like we're, our four decks. We'll just play four anti Simic decks, kind of thing. Solar Blaze costs four mana. Justice Strike costs two, and Justice Strike's an instant speed spell as well. So that was a good a good turn two. Turn one Grazer, turn two Reef that hits a land. That's pretty sweet. But they're down to just. Three cards plus their draw step here, so we'll see what they got. I don't want to see a green cavalier. That'd be a problematic card. Yeah, and we got time wipes, so we don't really need solar blaze. More oh. coming. Every day is so this a is a Golos lesson. deck. on what matters. You will feel the lick of my... Behold! They have... They have... Never mind. I was going to talk about that, but never mind. That's why Sarkin's good against Field of the Dead. Doesn't matter if they have the, the two twos on the ground. Uh, both of these Sarkins will trigger if they want to attack. Good job, Justice Strike. So we're going to go with Disdainful Stroke, Ashiok, Deputy, pick up Clarion, uh, maybe play Strike. I feel like I'd rather play 
Prison Realm, because Prison Realm exiles Golos, where Strike doesn't. Hey, <laughs> Samurai Man. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Clarion can be good against a bunch of zombies, but I feel like I'm going to just keep my time wipes in there. Time wipe can pick up my deputies. They were going to deputy a bunch of zombies. I was really debating about playing War Boss, but I don't, I don't think it's worth it. War Boss doesn't work out that well against Grazer. Um, you know, graze, grazer, zombies, stuff like that. Grixis walkers. You do some stuff with Grixis walkers. You get Soren. Soren's not really doing anything except for having a lot of loyalty, but you get Soren. I don't mind anticipate. Like I, I, I would prefer like a turn two anticipate, looking for like a turn three Ashiok. But like right now that we're going into turn three, I don't want to play anticipate. Correct. Field of the Dead is just banned in standard, not historic or brawl. Correct. So no circuitous route for us to counter there. We'll see if there's a Golos. Only cost three mana. Kind of need a land. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I probably should play Royal Scions here, honestly. Royal Scions does a better job of hitting a land drop. Oh, you're welcome, Espeda. Happy to hear that. you astray. Hmm. 
It's a bad place for a temple. I'd like to play Kesmina and hold up Disdainful Stroke. It's a good card. Trust me, I have a plan. This is hardly my worst defeat. Overwhelming. This is going to be tough with double field of the dead still. This is still going to be tough. It's just a 3 5 because of Ashiok. I really need to stop more Agent of Treacheries. But of course, they could just play a red source here and then be able to activate Golos also if they have one. Agent of Treachery is the card I'm the most scared of right now. Alright, got rid of a new gun. I kind of want to just play my own Ugin, but then playing my own Ugin means they get to attack Ashiok for two. That's really gross. Secrets manifest before. If I would have had that seventh land, probably would have gone deputy and then spark double the Ashiok. I still would have had a couple of creatures though. I guess that's kind of a bad block, because like the, the Ugin's gonna die anyway. If we're gonna just eat up the creatures with deputy anyway, I could just keep my 2-2. I just kinda wanted another land. Hey Rakion, doing good. Doing good.
are loyal geniuses. So the ability to spark double the deputy as well. Shock? I have to have another crisis. Alright. Well, that doesn't do anything. We've already gone through three crisis. I'm glad they played their land before their sweeper. Doesn't make the most sense, but I'm glad they did. We are the future. I suppose that's how it was meant. My victory was but a dream. Welcome to my world. Alright, they're down to 16. We can mill eight cards next turn with the two Ashioks. No lands in hand. Still no land. We could have like more circuitous routes or something like that in hand. Oh, never mind, that was a land. Alright, so we're at three. Gotta try to stay alive. Everyone agrees. I lead the way, but my brother knows. To know is to triumph. There's another field of the dead gone. I don't want to use my justice strike right now, even though I don't exile the realm cloak giant. I think that's perfectly fine. All right, they're out of crisis, but they got five cards. It's basically they kill us this turn, or else. I guess I'm letting them have a counter spell. But I like them knowing. I like them not knowing. So that's only three. Gets us down to one. All right. And then we're going to mill them out. Yeah, I don't know if my opponent had mana for the castle. Maybe like that, that turn when they just cast their Cutis route. They just don't cast. Like maybe they had the extra mana that turn. You know, because that was four mana for Circuitous route. So that's all they needed was one extra mana for the castle. Yep, no more field. He had mana on two different turns, or my opponent, I guess. My opponent had mana on two different turns. So then, then yeah, they could have could have activated that. I'm glad they didn't. They had five before their draw step, so their draw step made it four. Yeah, you know, like they had five on my turn. So, like, whenever they drew, it was four. And then when we go back to me, Ashiok would get rid of all four of those cards. 
And then so they would have zero drawing the next turn. I kind of want to keep this. No, we should mulligan. We can't cast anything. But I still kind of wanted to keep it. Hello. We can still not cast anything. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we could have scryed into a blue source, but then our, our hand is still air. That we're even even after we find a blue source, which could take a couple of turns, then then we're spending a couple of turns using the one blue source for, you know, anticipate to find other things, and it, you know, like it's. I think just looking for looking at a different hand is a better option. Um, I, you can level up as much as you want by spending gems. I don't know if you need to buy the mastery pass in order to do that or not. But that is an option. No, I don't think Ashiok will be needed inside boards once Field of the Dead is banned. That's really what the card is, is there for. Um, after... Afterwards, if there's like some kind of control decks like Esper Dance, they get, like if Esper Dance becomes really popular for some reason, then maybe you need it there. Um... But I think to start with, you wouldn't, wouldn't want it in your sideboard. Yeah, another. Yep, we got another uh, version of Walkers as a do donation deck here. We didn't. We did not have Justice Strike before. We saw Justice Strike looked really nice there, making them turn their Spark Double into just a goose, and they certainly wanted that Spark Double to be something better. They wanted it to be more beast-like. I will steady your mind, Rowan, and I will learn what nobody yet knows. Let's slow this down. That's a bummer. They get to bounce their spark double. Should have Clarion. What? They didn't bounce their spark double? But yeah, definitely, definitely Clarioning now. Oh, this is tough. If we drew a land, I would have been getting rid of the Anticipate and going Clarion Narset. But we can't clear. I'm definitely casting Clarion, so then I have two mana. So it'd be nice to have Anticipate and Justice Strike available. Which means we'd have to get rid of one of these, but I don't, I don't really want to get rid of either of those.
I guess keeping cards up with Teferi isn't really as valuable, so. I'll protect you. Realized that <laughs> after I said that, so I just got rid of the anticipate. I want to keep these other cards. Hmm. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. I have just the trick for this. Let me synthesize the facts. All these cards are good. That's probably, I probably should just ditch an R set, not spark double. Stupid Teferi. <laughs> Tough choice because they know about the other Nar set. Yeah, normally it would it'd be very easy to skill the Narset. I have practice to keep an open mind. Cool. No, is to triumph. Getting the other Narset in play over the Teferi because Narset keeps my opponent from drawing an extra card with their Teferi. Meditate and prepare. I am not going to sit this one out. No, I am not making this up as I go. I kind of regret discarding that spark double. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. <laughs> I, th I think we got a plan. That's more like it. I think we got a plan. If I just minus, they just bounce the, the token. So minusing doesn't make the most sense. So they're four color walkers. Kind of. They're like Oko Teferi with black mana. Probably like Golgari Queen. 
Maybe like maybe Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell, that kind of stuff. Um, looks like they're playing Soul Tie Splash to Fairy, basically. I think that's what we got going on over here. Prison Realm's not the best against Teferi. Which is unfortunate, because that's kind of the card that I want to play. To deal with Oko. Especially on the draw, maybe we need to keep these shocks in, even though I don't really like them too much, but they just kill the goose right away. Basically, our opponent didn't have Oko, and our life was a lot easier. When our opponent does have Oko, I'm good. I am worried. Yeah, we went, we went uh, six one with Chandra Tribal. We went six one with all three of our our last decks yesterday. Real good day over there in best of one. Had had a lot of fun though, uh, a lot of fun and a lot of really good games as well. So yeah, it looked it looked good. What do I think of the field of the dead band? I think it makes a lot of sense. It's just a card there isn't interaction for. Um, in standard and I, I think it makes it makes a lot of sense. They did not say that Oko is on the block. They did not say that. That is not correct. Their statement was that they are aware that the green shell is potentially too strong, but they want to see what happens with removing Field of the Dead from the equation and what happens up next before taking any action against green decks. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and I mean that's free. I don't I don't know why Brawl is only on Wednesdays. It that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't I don't even know what their justification is for that. It makes no sense to me. So I'd like another white source, which is what Temple of Scryumph is, but I'm not sure if I'm going to want to play a temple. I'll go ahead and take it. Oh dear. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. Well, it was, it was pretty important for my Teferi to stay alive so that we could have instant speed Clarions against three threes. But that's not going to be the case now. Golgari Queen. I lead the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. All right, so I called it. They're playing black for Golgari Queen, white for Teferi. Which makes sense. Golgari Queen is amazing in Oko Mirrors. I invite you to change your ways. Everyone is expendable, except me. Don't 
be surprised if we meet again. Well, of course, we got to get rid of Vraska, because otherwise Vraska just kills the prison realm. I wish my six mana planeswalker could kill their three mana planeswalker, but that's just doesn't happen, unfortunately. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Hone your prowess. I guess I guess I'm just dead. I was just gonna. I was planning on just shocking going Clarion, but I, I, I didn't even realize that I was at at five. I that playing the Narset, I'm just dead now. I didn't realize I was that low. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to play Deputy of Detentions, even though Deputy is really bad against Golgari Queen and not even not good against the Fairy either. We just gotta have answers to Oko. A deck like the we're like a deck like we're playing probably should have like, like maybe we should have Spyglass for Oko, but Spyglass isn't good against Golgari Queen. So it kinda puts you in a rough spot. I do think that's like you know just even playing this deck here, the, you know, like as we're playing it, that's our one major hole is is Oko. We don't don't have good answers. Um, I really like the Justice Strike though, you know, killing the Questing Beast. That's really nice. But gotta have better answers to Oko than what we have. I don't I don't know exactly what Just Guy should be playing besides you know Prison Realm. What else is three mana or less? You know, obviously, preferably less. That gets rid of planeswalkers. I, I'm not sure. It yeah, I just said what else besides besides prison realm. To know is to triumph. Just counter spells, yeah. I'm, I'm at like one, one that's on the battlefield. Maybe, e yeah. Ether Gust is a real card. Ether Gust slows them down and stuff. Ether Gust, maybe, maybe we need Ether Gust in the sideboard. What do you mean? What do you mean, Pedro? What are you struggling with? Let us plan for the trials ahead. Yeah, I can just put the link there if you want like that's all all the decks are you know follow that link or there's the deck right there I'm known for my excellent type. you click the deck list button and the screen is always black and empty goes nothing all 
I'm sure. What's up, QQ? Ten months already. Thank you so much, QQ. That's our fourth sub of the day. Yeah, I play ranked. Also, we do both. Donation decks. I don't don't play in ranked. Um, I'm not doing any ranked today. Yesterday we did all ranked. But, you know, we switch it up. We do leagues and ranked. Let's see. I remember we ended at number 357 yesterday. I want a deputy of the Garrick, but I don't want my deputy to die. Let me synthesize the facts. Hmm. Oh, come on. No, what a bad auto tap. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted to hold up Justice Strike. I'm going back to the woods. Here we go. Now I wish I would have just played the temple so we could play Yuga next turn. Oh, I only have one white mana. Oh, okay. Well, then that was just a mistake playing the mountain. I should have shocked in the hollowed fountain. All right. Well, then that's my bad. My bad. Yeah, I and plus I only have one white man anyway, so I can't play time wipe. So that was just really bad discarding the Hallowed Fountain over the the mount, mountain. I really should have discarded that mountain and shocked in Hallowed Fountain here. That was a bad mistake. We'll see how it goes though. If we you know if they don't have anything for Royal Scions, I want to protect against Questing Beast. I was just basically considering, you know, like the like how time wipe would go, like they, you know, be able to ultimate Garrick and you know, like that kind of stuff, and then you know we were running out of time, and I just I did the wrong thing there. But all good. We practiced a new combination. You will not like it. Still no other white mana. I've got it. I'm basically playing Sarkin so I can play Sarkin and land, and I don't have to discard. Because if I play, if I play like Narset, then you know, like we just put another card in our hand, and then we have to go to discard. <laughs> Y'all gave me a punt for that, for just for playing the wrong land. Tough crowd, tough crowd. Pretty sure this is lethal, right? Oh no, they have the food token. They get to go up to 14. All right, not lethal. I, I was gonna, I was gonna prison realm this thing, bounce to fairy, or like have to fairy bounce the grazer. Look to the skies. I'll just play Ugin instead. Cause 
because you can you can bounce like you can minus three to fairy after it's a four four creature and it goes down to zero, but it's still a four four creature. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so that's kind of weird. So they didn't have this gain life, so I was going to be able to prison realm one blocker, have to ferry minus, get rid of the other blocker, and then swing with my 12 in the air with them being at 11, but they had the gain three life. All right, we're three now. Oh, they're doing great. Rochin, yep. Hawkeye, Daga, they're doing great. I don't know where Hawkeye is right now. He is, he's napping up on the bed. Hey, Soul Farmer. No, yeah, no, I did not stream. I did not start late. Nope, I started right at three. It's four twenty-seven. Says we've been up for an hour twenty-six minutes. So nope, started right at three. Yeah, 39 seconds late. I'm planning on playing the other temple here, so I, I don't need the anticipate. Lots of Simic decks around. Lots of a Boreal Grazer. I hope all these Avorial Grazers leave whenever we play the Demir deck later tonight. Because we're playing Thief of Sanities. I don't want to see a Boreal Grazer. I think this is. I think this is. Golos this time. Yep, so you're here now, Soul Farmer, so all, all is good. Looks like Golos. Yep. I appreciate clean victory. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. So next turn I can go, I can shock this crazy and play Narset. Obviously, if they play Golos here this next turn, I'm, I'm pretty dead. Yay. Yeah, creatureless decks with no eight draw targets. Well, at least we'll be hitting for three a turn. I kind of want to just play against aggro, because a four mana three five is a pretty big body. I think that's the best thing Etrada has going for it. That's that it's a. Um, a four mana three five. I know eighty eight ways to put thoughtfulness before action. My answers lie in the cold truth. Should probably get rid of Ugin with me not having lands. Ugin's so good though. 
You know, like if they start making zombies, I'm gonna want these clarions. It's unfortunate. Maybe just maybe it's just ditch Casmina again. Yeah, it probably is just just ditch Casmina. Uh, I believe so, Sebus. No, you can't. Never mind. Well, that was exactly what I did not want, as we talked about last turn. Exactly what I did not want. I have just the trick for this. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. What know you of dragons? <laughs> Magnificent! Yep, we got another Golos deck here. So I could spark double the Sarkin, make another dragon, and then each Sarkin has two dragon triggers. So deal four damage to any dragon, any creature they attack with. Listen to them roar! Watch this. Well, that made my decision super easy. I must train harder. I guess guess they have crisis. Yeah, they got to have crisis. Yep. There is no virtue without bravery. Go get him, Royal Scions. Go get him. Uh, no, no, no new codes that I know. All right, uh, score. Yeah, what's the question? So time wipe could bounce Krasis. Basically, the only things that I'm scared of from their side are like Teferi, time wipe. And Krasis. Like, those are the only three cards. And Agent of Treachery, of course. Come on! I will consume you! If Brawl is going to be once a week, does it mean that Wizards wants our attention only in standard format? Or are they trying to force that situation? 
or and they are trying to force that situation. In any sense, including the cards they ban, the formats they give us in Arena, and all that things. That get us into Arena. Yeah, Wizards definitely wants us into Standard, for sure. Like, that's... If they could pick, they would, they would prefer us playing Standard over Brawl. If they could pick... But all right, so you I want to tick up. Might demands power. And then uh, here you cycle. To know is to triumph. Okay. But with that being said, I mean, it's it's good for Wizards if we're playing Brawl also. Basically, Wizards just wants us playing Magic. You know, like, as long as we're playing Magic, then things are good. So that's the main concern. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Yep. Yeah, I could have done the extra five points of damage to my opponent. By getting rid of the Grazer here and doing two points of damage with the Scions. Now I get more dragons, though, so that's cooler. Dragons are cool. I mean, they... Yeah. Yeah, Scoria, people... Standard... Standard's a format where people buy a lot more cards um, for standard. Like, where with Brawl, people probably just, like, have their Brawl deck, and that's what they, that's what they have, that's what they play. But, um, you know, so like they're they're probably just like buying their cart their deck. But like standard people that play standard a lot, you know, normally like maybe you know tune their decks or you know change their decks up and things like that. With standard, a meta game that changes a lot. Yeah, Field of the Dead is still legal and historic and brawl. On Arena, it's just not legal and standard anymore. Oh, well, we're going to win this turn. Are you ready? We like to finish each other's... And we get to draw a lot more cards, so that's cool. The Sarka and Spark double combo looking pretty strong. All right, so I get this to 61. Last time I cut all the Clarions, but I, I kind of regretted cutting all the Clarions. So we're going to play two of them. Um, and so, like, last time I played three Justice Strikes, zero Clarion. But I want to play two Clarion still. So I'm going to get rid of a Justice Strike. It's kind of just for Krasis and, I guess, like, the big Giants. It does help get rid of those. So I need to cut one more card. I'm thinking Kasmina.
Yeah. No, you, yeah, Moby, you won't get, you know, you won't, I don't think they're going to re, to, they're not going to, um, you're not going to get reimbursed gems that you spent on getting the card style for Field of the Dead, unfortunately. Yeah, my opponent's playing Field of the Dead. It's not banned on Arena yet. It won't be until Thursday. We gotta wait till the, the next update that they do. They'll update, they'll ban it during that update. Whenever they, that same update, they'll add Brawl. Hmm. Back up to Fairy. Or Interplanar Bacon. One of these two. This is better to try to work up towards Royal Scion's ultimate. Then play Narset. I was ideally looking for Ashiok with that Anticipate. Yeah, you can definitely keep hands with Oko on three. Absolutely. Alright, I'm sideboarding out these Royal Zions. Turned into goalless control. I try to do sa Samurai. Honestly, I, I was really debating not minusing the Ashiok there. I was thinking about it. I love...
trying to get rid of their library, but then also, um, I understand the like, you know, with minusing Ashiok, then it's only two attacks from a Krasis. I must stay focused. Clarion would be a really good draw. Ugin. Hmm. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. I've got time. Led with the Teferi, so they couldn't counter Ugin. Do you think Ashok would be as good if the ability exiled before the mill instead? Definitely not. And it's it's not even Ashok isn't spectacular anyway. I think if it, that didn't pan out. I have you know, like it, my limit. I think it's just fine how it is, basically. But no, it would it would not be as good if it exiled and then milled. That's gross. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. They want to take out these Royal Scions. I guess I should have just led with Teferi a long time ago, though. If I would have just started with Teferi. So they're playing Deputy also. So I definitely want another Clarion. Should have played Teferi on three instead of Royal Scions. This is not a good hand. These are not cards that I want early. All right, looking for Ashiok and Blue Source, or, you know, like, basically any three-mana walker we need to start with. But if Ashiok, we would need another Blue Source. Come on, blue land. No. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let's try this. Yeah, Escoria. Yeah, Escoria. Standard is a pretty good format right now. It, it has been worse in times in times past for sure, um, but yeah, standard's pretty good. I'd say. Yeah, there there have certainly been times in the past that it's been a lot worse than what it is right now. It's definitely risky. This 
Might be a bad idea. But I I was hoping that we could find a blue land considering we hadn't been seeing very much blue land at all. We just saw the one temple with all these other cards. So I was really hoping we could find an untapped blue land. Yep. I mean, I could have just passed and only just kept three lands. But that's not a great idea. But obviously I need to counter that thing. <laughs> the very next card. Thanks. Thanks. That's... That's a turn that loses us the game. Could have minus to ferry first. Trust me. Just to I look for any land. My prowess is on the map. Meditate and prepare. That's really unfortunate. Not being able to find a blue now mana what? like that. Hone your prowess. Obviously, this is just over now. I'm probably just going to concede this to move on since we got four decks tonight. All right, definitely I'm just going to concede this. I can no longer stand by. Now the game's not completely over, but it's almost assuredly over, and and we got four decks just for for time wise. But yep, not countering Golos cost us that. If I mean, if I just had it. If I had just a regular land drop, I would not have cast the Anticipate, but I had no land drop, and so I would have just had my three lands in passing the turn. And I, I really thought I needed another land, and I did not want to minus Teferi. I preferred not to, so I wanted to look at the top three, look for a blue source, and we missed, and then so I Teferied and whiffed again. So four, top four, we whiffed there. Yeah, I chose the Narset over a land... The land was. Yeah, at that point we didn't have. Um... At that point we had nothing but spark double. Spark double is not going to be good enough by itself. If I and the the land was a temple. That's the other thing. Like the land was like an untapped land maybe, but the land was a temple. So if I would have taken the temple, then we would not have played Teferi on three. Then we would have just had, you know, pass a turn two again. So that was a, a problem, that land being a temple. I, I can't really imagine anything that we want to Justice Strike this next turn whenever we have Clarion the following turn. I, I can't really imagine anything they're going to play on turn two that we would want to have the Justice Strike available. So we'll just play the Steam Vents. Because basically, no matter what they play, we get Clarion. No planeswalkers in sight. 
Seen 12 cards so far. Fortunately, we don't have a second white mana either for the time wipe yet. But looks like my opponent just has mana creatures. There we go. Auto tap, you're not any good. Ready, Will? By your side, I am always ready. My answers lie in the cold truth. Very good chance they have Murderous Rider. They're not doing anything else. Ooh, no Murderous Rider. Well, their plan is questing beast. We got that part covered. So they can only bring back the troll king on their turn. So they could bring it back right now by sacking three foods. But then hopefully between hopefully our draw step we can find white mana or this tick up. Deck, white mana. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Uh this is frustrating. I think it's trample, right? Yep. Is the greatest virtue. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Feeling like we don't have enough white sources. <laughs> I could shock in right now, or I mean, sorry, I could, I could just play this land as my six land, so I have the six lands for Ugin, but I think I'm going to wait, even though it'll cost me two life, so that if, because if we find a white source, you know, I'll ditch the steam vents, and we'll have the white source for our sixth mana. If we don't find a, a white source, then we can go, next turn, we can go steam vents, Ugin. They're attacking the wrong one. You always want to kill the non-legendary one. The non-legendary is a lot better than the legendary. Because I could play another one now. Do we even have untapped white mana? I guess we have eight. We have the... The eight shocks, Sacred Foundry, Hallowed Fountain, that's what we have left. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. If I play Ugin, uh, Ugin dies to Paradise Druid. If I go Temple Narset. I just have to do this because if I don't do this, you know, if I go like Temple, my real silence is dead, of course, but then, um, then whenever I time wipe, they still bring it back. 
But I guess whenever they bring it back, then I would have Ugin to take care of it. Yeah, this thing has trample. You're going to die from a 2 2. Huh. They did not kill Ugin. Well, that's cool. I will learn what nobody yet knows. I know my responsibility. by my side I do not fear the unknown to know is to triumph there's no white mana <laughs> we had the temple earlier Well, he's good news. Unless they have a land drop, they cannot play the Troll King again. They only have five mana now with the Paradise Druid. But they can kill two of my Planeswalkers. Synthesize the facts. Hmm. hmm. What is my strategy here? I don't know what our strategy is here. It's not great, I can tell you that. Not great. I fight with a dragon's rage. Come to me. Hey, corruption. <laughs> yeah, apply dragons to face. No, not another Wicked Wolf. Because, like, the dragon was going to keep the, uh, you know, Paradise Druid at bay where they couldn't attack with that. Eat. And so it was going to help me ultimate this other Royal Scions. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I guess if I would have, you know, if I would have discarded the white mana. Or, sorry, if I would not have discarded, if I would have discarded the Narset instead. Or no. What a, no, I would have discarded the, the Steam Vents and I would have played at Narset. It would have been kind of in trouble because, I don't know, Royal Scions would have died. I thought that, you know, over the next handful of draws, we would have found another <laughs> white source. But does not lose. No, not so much. Not yet, at least. Okay.
So they can save one wicked wolf. Let us plan for the trials ahead. The problem is whenever they go Troll King and make three more food. And then I go time. If I time wipe now, I don't know how I'm really getting rid of the big stuff. If I go Clarion now, I can go like Clarion, Casmina. This is tough. Come on. I want to discard a Sarkin. Ugh. Yep, one more Sarkin left. Now I time wipe takes out the troll king and takes out two of the food. But it doesn't stop the the wolves. We need cards that actually draw us cards and not just loot away cards. We keep on having to loot away good cards. It's kind of the problem with these. Well, time wipe at least gets rid of this troll king. This thing's very large and difficult to deal with. If I keep Sarkin, I could like double block it, I guess. I mean, they don't, they're not really doing just the obvious play Troll King line. Maybe they want to do something else. Darn. Interesting. They're gonna let me Royal Scion's ultimate, that's awesome. Maneuver into position. Then charge and strike.
I could, I mean, I could exile Troll King with like this combination here. And so it doesn't just go back to the graveyard. Mm, a quest of mystery. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Let's slow this down. Don't worry, I got this. Gotta get them to use all of these food. Hey, so at the end. Okay, one food down. We'll have instant speed time wipe next turn. Tap their creature again to have it be easier for this. Royal Royal Scions to ultimate. Let me synthesize the facts. I've got it. The past, present, and future are bound by thread, but thoughtfulness before action. All right, last Arkin. So I think we got this. Yeah. This, this should be game. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Who knows? Yeah, I'm depends on like how much life they gain like with the food and stuff. So we're going to have I want the Royal Scions to attack. So we're going to play Sarkin first, tick up before we minus 8. Okay, so they're just at 23. All we have to do is 9 damage, which we can do. Especially with the help of Shock. So, yep, we got there. This is a... Um, 
<laughs> this game is kind of a, a big run around. Long game, one. 12 minute. On each side. The best deck for Royal Scions right now. Probably Teamer, because Oko is a pretty Broko. What know you of dragons? They are coming. I have just the trick for this. We like to finish each other's what attack already. Make our real silence a six four. I will steady your mind, Drowen. And I will inspire your heart. There is no virtue without bravery. So if they would have just gained the three life by cracking the food <clears throat> with finding the royal scions there. We still would have had lethal by one, because we would have dealt 14 here. They went to negative 4, so even if they gained the 3 life instead of playing this other Wicked Wolf. How healthy do you think the current uh, is following the banned uh, Field of the Dead on a scale of 1 to 5? I guess you think... How, how healthy do you think the current format... I'm, I'm assuming current format is. Um, it's... It's kind of impossible to say because we haven't we haven't seen what the standard looks like yet following the field of the dead ban. Um, obviously, things are going to completely warp around Oko. That's just how it's going to be. But we don't know exactly what that format will look like right now. So no, the, the ban has not come into effect yet. That's why we still have like Ashiox in our sideboard and stuff. All right, so Prison Realms can exile the Wickedest of Wolves and Troll Kings. We can uh, Disdainful Stroke, Deputy. Those cards as well. They really didn't play very much. I kind of assume they got a lot more going on than what they showed us. They kind of just drew all mana creatures and wicked wolves and like one troll king. So they. Which was pretty weird. But I suspect that their deck is a lot better than what they showed us. Alright, let's 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 actually let's drop Kasmina. Maybe I guess Kasmina does not line up against Wicked Wolf at all. I guess they had a couple of legions end. It's like what else they had. While well, Oko's very good, Oko's not unbeatable. So we'll we'll see what happens with standard. Yeah, you, you'd think they're they're playing a bunch of questing beast. That makes sense. We didn't see any last game. But it certainly makes sense for them to have a bunch of questing beast. And Justice Strike. A good draw. Right on time.
We'll take the blue red land because we have an abundance of white mana, and obviously that's the easiest color for our deck to acquire is white mana. So we'll take the blue red temple. As we saw last game, it's just this deck is just an abundance of white mana. Let's see, all we're doing is drawing white lands besides that. Which makes sense. I feel like Veil of Summer is probably like their only protection. Veil of Summer doesn't protect against Justice Strike, so I can just pass so they can't play another beast of the quest. I am always ready. Mm, a quest of mystery. How many Gideon and Selesnia? I don't know. Probably not like a ton. Hey, what's up, Jokers? It's okay, but it's... It's not like the best for like that kind of... For that kind of deck. Because it's just, it's three mana and one creature. That's not like the best ratio. Stay back. I'm an explosive. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in My here? My plan is crystallizing. Hey, what's up, Baloney Pony? Yeah, we get, we got three spicy brews today. It's brews. It's Tuesday, Brews Day. You're gonna be sorry when I come back. I should have played better around that. Um, and so we got we a begin. cauldron deck. Behold! Yeah, Sultai Cauldron. Then we got Rakdos Spear. That's that's my deck that I'm really looking forward to playing. Pestilent Spirit. Rakdos deck. And then Demir Itrata. This format's just so slow. We're already... Ew. You know, we're already two and a half hours into the stream. Look to the skies. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I've got time. Could bounce a food token. I'm gonna wait on that. I'm not playing the beacon. I know I could have gained a life by playing the beacon, which maybe I'm supposed to because I'm at ten. But we've seen that we have so much like draw discard in the deck. That I was kinda wanted to keep it in hand. I really should have seen that coming. Darn, should have bounced a token. Speaking of draw discard. With my sister by my side, I do not fear the unknown. My answers lie in the cold truth. Might demands power. So yeah, I could minus three this Sarkin and play like a new Sarkin, that's what I could have done this turn. But that just kind of gives my opponent a free out of dealing with the Sarkin. I want them to like have to like Spend resources to deal with this Arkin, and then we still have a backup. Hey, Grim Intent. Yeah, I have Pyro Helixes in there in the Rakdos deck. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, the Scions are pretty Scottish. And if we win this, which it looks like we're going to, we're going to be playing one more match. It's one thing that's good about Field of the Dead being gone. Field of the Dead is a really, really okay. slow deck. And so, like, some of those games I earlier, really slow. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. What? We can't run or hide? What are we supposed to do, then? I summon are there you. other options? So they're down to two. We got the Chandra emblem going. Of course, they have a food, though, still. Yeah, and we get to gain 10 life, go back up to 20. Do you think aggro decks can even have a place in the metagame if Oko isn't somehow pushed out? Um, yes, but aggro decks have to adapt. I think that going wide is, a, is much more valuable against Oko. Than playing like mono, like a red deck, for example, just a couple of threats. Because of you just play like a couple of creatures, you know, Oko turns those into three threes, which isn't good. And of course, food, it's hard to, you know, like food is uh, difficult to get the last few points of damage in against food. But I think going wide is, is a lot more valuable. Oh man, that's being laggy. I should have reset before this, I guess. Um, so, like, Venerate Luxodon was a really big winner of getting rid of Golos that's built around sweepers. Yeah, we yeah we played a, a Corvold Jun deck one time. Jun, we called it Jun Sacrifice. So, yeah, it's up on YouTube somewhere. It was a few weeks ago. But yeah, Jun Sacrifice. Um, I would, yeah, I would probably play March and Selesnia right now. I don't think you wanted to before, but probably after the bandings, if there's going to be less sweepers, you want March of the Multitudes. Oh, Golos again. Gross. <laughs> no, Jazabek, no, you, you shouldn't cut Oka, so you're you're all good. Hey Hadu. What's the strong The strongest meta counter? You just mean like you're the strongest Goose Oko Nissa like we there there isn't like there really isn't a metagame right now of what's gonna happen like of Stuff after, um, that looks pretty cool, Grim Intent, of like what's going to happen after the bannings, like, you know, we just haven't, we haven't started really playing yet, because like, like that, the new format's not even available on Arena yet, there isn't like a metagame. <clears throat> oh yeah, final boss. I am going to be spending a, a day, I don't know exactly which day yet, but we will be spending a day playing anti-Semic decks. I'll be building anti-Semic decks. I know a lot of people have been asking for that. You know, I'm talk when I'm talking about Semic, you know, I'm just talking about like the Oko decks, like anti-Oko decks. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know if it'll be Thursday, which is like the first day for, 
for that, but then there's also that's also like the first brawl day. I don't know if you want to see brawl. Also. So I'm not sure which day yet. Well, yeah, it takes it takes some time like the next scheduled update that they have they're going to update standard to ha to show that Field of the Dead is banned. It's not it's they can't really just be like you can't play Field of the Dead starting right now. I mean, I guess they could do like an emergency patch. I really need to reset this. It's getting too laggy. The anti Oko decks to be called Elf Bane. Like my opponent has nothing but lands and I have nothing but spells. I hope they just play one land and that's it, and then you know they get the the one zombie and then I to fairy bounce. Here. I am not going to sit this one out. Draw land. I got this. Not land. Here we go. Knowledge is the greatest. My plan is crystallizing. The reason why we want to keep Justice Strike is if they have, if they draw Hydroid Crisis. I don't really have anything better. I mean, it's either I guess it's either Justice Strike and Narset. Like those are the two. I, mean, I could get rid of a Clarion, but I think Clarions are really important. Six Osaka, thanks for re for renewing your sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you. That didn't go according to plan. Yeah, I guess we could have got rid of one of the Sarkins. Sarkins really valuable though. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Steady your mind, Rowan. And I will... Hmm. What is my strategy here? Thankfully, these Royal Silence just have so much loyalty, they're not going to die. Ugh. Yeah, not too much QW. Um, if you just if you just go to the, did they already play a land for turn? No, they didn't, did they? That was a really good Golo set. If you just go to my videos, I played um, the regular mono blue, like a non-budget version, a few days ago. And so you know you you can see like the list and everything there, and you can watch that. We played it in best of three, and everything like that. Was like a perfect turn. I don't know how I win now. Yeah, seventy-two percent win rate is unbelievable. 
It's it's better than the best players in the world. I think I have made a tactical error. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not beating these two guards. <clears throat> yeah, we've seen a lot of Field of the Dead today. I mean, so far, it's it's our third out of six matches so far. All right, so we're playing these. We're cutting these. I'm cutting one of those, one of those, and that gets us there. Oh, but I wanted this. That means we're cutting another one of these and one of those. Okay. <sighs> Could not, you know, like, obviously my opponent had a pretty bad hand. They just played lands for just so, such a long time, but our, our hand was so bad how we couldn't, we just couldn't play spells. We couldn't get to five mana to get to Sarkin to kill our opponent in time because we just missed too many land drops there. Yep, this is from Zelda 2. Correct. This is a pretty terrible hand also. Let's hopefully find Ashiok. Oh no. I guess by playing Temple as it's like, ooh, let's let's keep digging, but we don't have double blue. But good, we would have just drawn island, which you know, island would not have helped. Ashok with Spark Double is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any lands last game after our mulligan, so then our, our hand was like, here you go, seven lands, that's what you want, right? Do not, I will learn what nobody yet knows. I'm planning on circuit next turn. there. Let us fight. Your end has arrived. I don't really have anything here I want to I guess that's a all right that's a tap land. We can get rid of that. I want on tap land, you know, maybe we go like Ashiok plus deputy next turn. Hey Moxie getting the sub. Thank you so much there, Secret Santa. Getting a sub for Moxie. This isn't a fight uh, you can win. That is obviously very devastating. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Uh 
Oh, it's the wrong one, two, three, Moxie. Listen to them roar. A dragon would rather die than lose. No, wrong, wrong one, two, three, Moxie. As Moxie has an underscore. Run, Will. Well, everything's going wrong for us in this game. And no land drop for Ashiok plus Deputy. No, I haven't really considered Happily Ever After decks yet. I don't really have anything to do. Alright, I'm I'm finished with that. We have a lot more magic to play here. And I'm finished with that. Yeah, Field of the Dead still still strong. Still destroying control decks. Nothing new. It'll get out of here, though, pretty soon. Just a couple of days. There we go. Moxie. Getting in the sub there. So, there we go. <clears throat> so thank you to the anonymous gifter there for 1, 2, 3, and Moxie. All right. Um, anyway, Jeskai Walkers. Looked pretty good. Still, though, I think I think Oko is still a real problem moving forward for this deck, honestly. I think that's like the thing, like playing this deck uh, that we saw. You know, we, we did play against Field of the Dead three times. Those were two of our three losses. But we only, like, there was only one game, I think, that our opponent played Oko, and we lost that game. And Oko looked pretty tough. Yeah, because we only played against Oko one match, and I think they only played it one game, and the two games they didn't play Oko, we won. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's that was the case. But anyway, the deck still needs needs better answers to Oko. Like right now, if you look at our main deck, we got nothing except attacking with Sarkin. So the thing about playing like a teamer version of this is like teamer, you have like your own Oko that makes threats that attack they can attack their Oko and stuff like that. But like this version, you know, we have like Sarkin attacking and Ugin, and that's it. And then we there is some prison realms in the sideboard. The thing is there's there's not a lot of good answers. There's like Ether Gust, as we talked about before. Like besides counter magic. Besides countering it, like when it's actually on the battlefield, there's not very good answers. Um You know, two Ashiox isn't really enough, but Field of the Dead, like if if you're like playing this right now against Field of the Dead, two Ashiox isn't really enough. Need need more of those need less war boss war boss looked I, i'd have to say like out of like the whole the whole deck war boss looks pretty useless like the only the only time you're going to play war boss is against other blue control decks but there's just not really other blue control decks right now so the, the so the war bosses looked pretty useless like you know just having you know more ashiox even or you know something else but <clears throat> of course the metagame will be changing with with the update of the bnr yeah, Spyglass can work. Spyglass is a, is a good option. Um, you have to watch out for, like, Vraska, Golgari Queen. Like, the, the deck that we were playing against was playing Golgari Queen and Teferi to go along with Oko. Um, but, yeah, Spyglass is, is a good option as long as people don't start playing Sultai and start playing Golgari Queens to kill opponents' Okos, which is where I'm going to be with Oko decks. I'm going to be going with Sultai um, to win Oko Mirrors. So... We'll see how good of an option Spyglass actually turns out to be. But yeah, besides, but yeah, Spyglass could be good for now. Anyway, there we go. That's Jeskai Walkers, though. 
So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I would appreciate that. But um, yeah, that's it here for Just Guy Walker. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.